Happy Monday, everybody. This is Leah and Ryan from FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com. A little late, but better late than never. And these pigeons are very much worth the wait. We are live with the Sonia Vandermeer in lots. Ryan, take it away. Leah, you never, you want me to take this one away? I mean, this is, we're into new, new territory. Well, what do you people, what do you mean new territory? Leah, it hasn't been you and me for a while. Normally we have the breeders on. The breeders come to the party, but not today. Sonia's under the weather big time. And you know what? When you're under the weather, you don't have a voice. Well, we can't have you on the show. But that's okay. We, don't we, worry. Because what did going, Sonia do? We're going to be Sonia's voice tonight. And we're going to be the voice of these 12 amazing lots from Sonia. Go ahead, Ryan. I interrupted you. Go ahead. Well, Leah's pretty jazzed up. But as you see me going through the wonderful world of color, you all say, you know, colored racing pigeons, they're not good. You know, they can't win a race. You ever see a colored pigeon win? Yeah. Right here. Sonia Vandermeulen from Belgium, specializing in sprint, middle, long distance, one loft racing. Hold on. Red and yellow and green and blue. <laughs> you see it, Leah? Do I colored pigeons win? They absolutely yeah. do. Yeah, and you see it, eh? Force yeah. for the trees, ladies and gentlemen. Sonia has the results to prove it. Robert Dodge, I'm, I'm just... he says that he hopes that you are feeling better. Vamp our loft in the house. Hello, guys. Mike Vanderyak wants to know how Ryan is feeling. He's not feeling great, but he is troopering through this because we're doing it for Sonia and we're doing it for these incredible 12 lots. If anybody knows how to get rid of a very, very bad ear ache, please let Ryan know at the end of the show put, or put your suggestions in the comments below because he has a very bad ear ache. But we are going to truck through here because Sonia and these lots deserve it. <laughs> Also known as the Golden Lady of Belgium. This is, I'm sorry, the rest of the breeders. My absolute favorite auction of the year. I love Sonia's birds. I love the color. I love the war paint. It's a nice, refreshing change. And we thought we would do the show on Monday because Monday, everybody's down in the dumps and feeling a little bit depressed because it's Monday. And there's nothing like 12 beautiful colored racing pigeons to make your Monday. So we hope that these Leah, you're wrong. put a smile you're on wrong. your face. Yes, Ryan? They're not 12 colored racing pigeons, eh? They're 12 colored, thoroughbred, machined racing pigeons. Yes, these 12 are chiseled out of granite. They are so damn nice. I had a, a, an excellent old-time pigeon flyer, Gordy Whale, come back up for a second handling of these pigeons. And he just went like this. I never seen pigeons chiseled out of granite like this. They're all bang, spot right on. Now, before we get into these lots, I'm going to tell you the story of how myself and LMR, Loft Manager Richard, found the Golden Lady of Belgium. We were in a pigeon show. I believe it was Fugare or uh, the Olympiad in Poznan. Yeah. And she was down in the corner of, yeah, Poznan, that's right. She was down in a, one of the corners. And for some reason, she was in a corner where they were selling lofts, loft supplies, all that kind of shit over there in the corner. And people, you know how, Leo, in a corner, people jam up? Yeah. So we didn't go. We didn't go on Friday in the corner. We didn't go on Saturday into that corner because there was some mega, mega stuff going on in there. And what happened was the show was wrapping up and we went down into the corner. And me and Ricky were almost done. We were on four days jet lag, right? Feeling like we had done too much Mountain Dew and so much pigeon fun. But in the corner, there was a whole booth full of modely grizzles, reds, silvers, chocolates, all these colored pigeons. And Richard said to me, oh, I'm not going down there to handle exact words. That shit. That was the exact words he used. Okay, we got to keep this real, right, Leah? So Richard went over to look at the floor granules, and I walked over like a gunslinger. I handled a lot of pigeons that weekend. I was feeling pretty magical, these fingers. They, they handled a lot of good and a lot of shit. And I picked the ugliest pigeon in the, in the show cages. Picked it up, put it in my hands. 
Ricky was over looking at floor dropping cleanup stuff. And I went, OMG, what the hell is this? I looked down, it was chiseled out of steel. Ugly looking, the different color, it looked weird. Put it in my hands. I said to Sonia, could I just take this pigeon and show dad? I said, dad, turn around, handle this pigeon quick. He didn't look, put it in his hands. He fell on his ass. We went over, we went through the pigeons. Everyone was chiseled out of granite. Her booth was still rocking at that time. These are the colored racing thoroughbred pigeons that'll win for you that have color. They have to have the balance, the confirmation, and the color. She has it really all. And you see it in these 12 lots. She's held nothing back yet again. So I can tell you, you can bid in confidence. These aren't fancy colored racing pigeons. These are the ones that do the winning. These are the ones that do the winning, not bred for show. They are bred for speed, and they are bred to win. And um, with that, we are going to get into lot number one. Uh, we've got some suggestions on how you can fix your ear, Ryan, which I will share with you after the show, because I'm sure everybody wants to get into the lot, as I do. And like I said, I hope these lots bring a smile to your face, at least, because they do for me. We are going to start off with lot number one. Ryan is going to read the band number. All right, Belgium 2019, 4229030. Red checker cock, almost no bars on the guy. Beautiful red cock, red checker cock. Stra this I is don't a know. I think he's a red checker or a strawberry. Yeah, he is. Well, red checker. We're going to go with red checker cock. He is an original Sonia Vandermalen, a direct child of Vale Astro, winner of first ace pigeon long distance yearlings, FCD. This is Red Astro. Ryan, let's talk about lot number one. All right, Red Astro. Medium sized cock, a little longer. His back moves a little left, a little right. Vent bones are strong. Just a, just open, maybe just a cracking. About a finger and a half keel to the vents. Got a real, real sharp, sharp looking face on him. A piercing orange eye. He's got a nice wing. He's very balanced in your hands. Very calm pigeon. Look at the size of this wing on this guy. Super. And you'll see if I bring those, bring it up close, 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 you'll see the black flecking. So when this guy's two, three, four years old, there's going to be a lot of black fleckings on him. But he's very nice. He's very tight, very soft feather. He's got good muscle. He's a nice cock. And Leah, uh, Sonia, this is one of Sonia's ultimate pigeons of the sale. This is her pick. You are absolutely right correct, here. Ryan. Lot number That's one. That's right. If you guys want a little bit of inside information, a little birdie by the name of Sonia Vandermalen, I did ask her, what are your two favorite lots in the sale? And lot number one is absolutely one of her favorites. I'll let you know the other favorite when we get to it. So stay tuned for that. Um, but as I said, this is a direct child of Vale Astro, who is the winner of First Ace Pigeon Long Distance Yearling, FCD. I can go through all of the race results that the sire won, but we want to leave you guys to it as well. Uh, the dam is a, another fantastic racer, the 764, winner of 10th Noyon, 20th Noyon, 78th Bloss. Uh, in 2017, nine times prizes till Chateau. A full sister of Dirk, who is the sire of Den 800, who flew with Van Beveren Gibruders, sorry about that, guys, um, from New Neyman, Netherlands. Den 800 wins third provincial ace pigeon middle long distance youngsters, uh, first Chateaudan, and provincial 49th from 1,903 pigeons, etc., etc. Pedigree is loaded. Loft manager rating on Red Astro is 99 out of 100. You're going to see very high ratings with the Sonia birds, and that's because the composition is bang on. Right, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, they're bang on. And, and this is, again, uh, this is exactly like when I was there. I mean, if you're not a fan of this color, fine. Then you'll say it's an ugly-looking pigeon. But, boy, when you put it in your hands, very, very nice, very tight, well-built, well-put-together. And you know what's great? It has results. Okay, it has results. And you know what? It's great looking at blues and checkers. But isn't it nice to feel that you can buy in confidence a colored racing pigeon that can do the work, that can compete with the 
big boys per se with the blues and the checkers. And as for Sonia, the hawks are the hawks. If you, she has all colored pigeons, all the hawks ever see are colored pigeons. And she got a lot of colored pigeons that do a lot of winning. There's always a one colored pigeon that shows up on top. And uh, this woman has the right ones again, winning in multiple different one loft races around the world. And a lot of good results that people have had with her pigeons. And you can feel why she puts them out with that great muscle, that great box, the good eye sign. Uh, it's all here, especially in lot number one. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this was Sonia's very first pick of the sale. This is the one she says, do not miss out on him. So um, take it also, from her. There's been quite a bit of talk about price point and how all oh, the Feathers Elite pigeons are getting way out of the price bracket or our pigeons are getting too expensive. Uh, lot number one, uh, current bid is 300 Canadian dollars. 300 Canadian dollars on lot number one. Just also want to remind everybody just to import the birds from Belgium. You're looking at around 180 to $200. So right now, lot number one technically is at $100 Canadian. Just, I'm just going to leave that with you guys. So oh, you can and by the way, think about that. By, by the, by the way, that's the breeder's pick. Yeah. And that is the breeder's pick lot. Wake up. One. We are going to move on. To and lot and, and please, two. please, Pete. Go ahead, Ryan. Before I move to lot two, please, people, before you, before you come at me with high prices, I need you to do your facts, your research, really break it down, set up a spreadsheet, set up a group chat about it, piddle it around, and then come and see daddy. Daddy will give you the figures. Because there's a reason why they call me daddy. Isn't that right, Leah? Sure is. Uh, moving on get to that lot, off me number, chest. Lot, lot number two. Lot number two. <laughs> You're feisty when you got your pink hat on. Lot number two. Let's read the band number, please. Belgium 2020, 419-8806. Beautiful white grizzle hen. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is, of course, original Sonia van der Malen, daughter of super racer Donica Jan, winner of 14th Belgium Olympiad Pigeon all around 2019, granddaughter to super breeding hen Blau Blanchetta, dam to dream, dream boy, beauty Jan, and beauty Blanc. This is white Annie. Let's talk about this beautiful little girl here, Ryan. All right, good old, let me just adjust this, good old white Annie. She's nice in the hands, back is strong, moves a little to the right or left. Vemples are open just to cracking. Forearm is nice. Feather quality on this is absolutely second to none. Superb, soft, silky. She's got the nice white flights, black flights in her. The back is strong. She's real nice in your hands. Sharp eye, piercing. It hurts to look at it, but isn't this one hell of a beautiful grizzle? Forearm is, is nice. Everything is nice and tight. I'll tell you, uh, I would have no problem, Leah, racing a whole team of these pigeons. <laughs> I mean, none. <clears throat> none whatsoever. Um, Jimmy Peters is asking if this lot number two raced. No. Lot number two did not race. And I forgot to mention on lot number one, Red Astro, in case anybody's curious. <clears throat> it was born in September of uh, 2019. It's a 19, and it was born in September 2019 on lot one. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. So lot number two did not race, no. But it is a daughter of super racer Doniker Jan, who, of course, winner of 14th Belgium Olympiad Pigeon all around 2019. The grandsire is um, yeah. Ian from um, Ivan Vandenbosch. Isn't that interesting? Ivan Vandenbosch, of course, another Feathers, Feathers Leap Pigeon Auction breeder. I believe Sonia and Ivan used to fly in the same club. I think that's where the um, relation is there, I think. Don't quote me on that one. Yeah, they're, they're friends and, and, you know, trading back and forth, forth and back, whatever you want to call it. The quality is in these pigeons. Uh, there's a reason why they call her the golden lady of Belgium. She puts out a very high quality pigeon, uh, 
just confirmation, balance, everything, feathers. And these pigeons, I love them. They almost get themselves basket ready. Very good muscle. Your lot number two. If you like white grizzles, she is maybe the one for you. So I want to give a shout out to Joe Freely, who is um, tuning in from the west of Ireland. He says good morning from the west of Ireland because I think it's around two o'clock in the morning there. So either Joe can't sleep or he set his alarm clock so he could watch the show. And I'm going with he set his alarm clock to watch the show. Also want to give a shout out to um, Rodrigo. He is in the house. As we move on to lot number three. And let's read the band number, please. On lot number three. Oh, all right. Here we go. Belgium 2020. 419-8822. Beautiful blue grizzle hen. This is an original Sonia Vandermeulen, daughter of Gigi, winner of in two years, 19 prizes, up to 476 kilometers, 11 times in the first 10%. A half-sister to Witty Jammy, winner of second ace pigeon after one loft mate. Youngsters D. Oh, Snellvleisures, Zanderbergen, 2017. This is Grizzle Gigi. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names. Ryan, let's talk about law number three. All right. Today we had Gordy and, and Paul come over. We went through these pigeons and we got to all the blue grizzles. This was a, this was a tongue. This was a tough. Tough battle. All three of the blue grizzle hands are super. 100 out of 100 in your hands. Buoyant, strong muscles. Muscles. You want super put together hands? Right here. This hen is flawless. She's not overly big, not overly small. Forearm is super tight. The wing snaps. Soft, silky feathers. She's got the beautiful third bar on her. You see it even. See how tight that wing is. She's a gorgeous hen. Lots of fight, but yet so balanced. You were in the Sahara Desert, you'd find water with the tail like this. Pulls down tight, sharp, rich face, like a glove, this hen. Look at the nice thick bars. Look at the character in her. Salt and pepper, push it good. Isn't that what they say? Or, or something? I don't know. Something along Never those mind. lines. Never mind. Yes. And of course, <laughs> um, in lot number three, we have the Grizz 400 lines, which you're going to see again and again in the Sonia Vandermeulen pedigrees. Loft manager rating on this lot number three is 100 out of 100. Again, price point, just to let you guys know. Lot number three right now is a current bid of 400 Canadian dollars. So again, when you take away the importing and quarantine fees, which please guys, keep that in mind. The birds have to get here some way, and that's through importation and quarantine, which somebody has to pay for. Um, you're looking at 200 Canadian right now on your lot number three. You can't go wrong. Mike Vandriak is asking for the link. And a little left. I, I'm going to put the link in, uh, Mike, once we get to the next lot. I'll do that for you when Ryan's talking about lot four. Go ahead, Ryan. One other thing. We talk about funny, funny uh, little isms here. John Black has an auction right now running on Feathers of Lane Pigeon Auctions. You want to know about these pigeons? Ask him. He's got a great grandchild off of Grizz 400. It's one of his best breeders. Okay, these pigeons win. They're built to win. They're built balanced. They have the results, and they're real beautiful to look at. I'll take these pigeons any day of the week, any time. I would have any of these 12 lots in my loft, breeding out of them, no problem. Right here, the Super Blue Grizzle Hen, lot number three. We are going to move on to lot number four. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Again, I will put the link to the Sonia Vandermelen online auction in the comments once I get through reading all about lot number four and Ryan talks about it. Then I'll put the link in the comments. <clears throat> lot number four, another one of my absolute favorites. And who doesn't like chocolate? Ryan, read the band number on lot number four. All right, here we go. Belgium, 2024-220-363. A chocolate, this is a tongue twister, a chocolate checker, pied or white flight cock. 
This is an original Sonia Vandermeulen, a half-brother to, among others, Whitkop Furman, winner of First Doyon versus 371 Pigeons, and Chateau Princeski, winner of First Chateau 478 Kilometers versus 144 Pigeons, and also Brune Prince, a proven breeding cock. The dam is Blue Volcanti, uh, winner of 7th Point St. Maxine, 7th uh, Le Souterrain, 300th Provincial Burges, winning 20 prizes in two years up to 542 kilometers. This is Color Prince 363. Ryan, you talk about lot four, and I am going to put the link up. Rodrigo says he loves lot number four. So do I. Let's talk about them. All right. First and foremost, he's a nice cockbird. He's longer cast. His back is one pin tail. He's a bit jazzed up today. We had a, a multiple people come and ha hang on to him. His back's going a little left, a little right. He feels the interest in the show. But he's got a gorgeous face. The greens and purples are absolutely stunning. Forearm is nice and tight. Vent bones are strong. He's got a nice big wing on him. And he's got those beautiful silver flights with the chocolate through them. Again, longer cast cock. Nice eye. I think this cock is a real gem. And if you like real true chocolate, hey, this is the chocolate for you. You will not go wrong. And it was funny when I said to Sonia... When I met her uh, last year in Fugari, where we picked up, we picked up a chocolate hen for one of our clients. It came in at over 800 for the bird. And this is a super pigeon, buoyancy strong, a little bit nervous right now, but blown out nice. His back's a bit feisty. He's fighting it. He's kicking it. Look at the wing. Look at the coloring. He's gorgeous with results, and he's got that white head. Gorgeous, rich eye. Take it away, Leah. Oh, I was still putting the link in. Um, so Four. keep talking. I was putting the link in wow. of where to bid. Wow. You so. know what? It's a, it's it's. Sorry. <laughs> hey guys, if you're tuned on here, where do you go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. By now, you know the game. Come on. If, you, if you're tuning in and you know where to bid, you put the link up if you know where. Help us out. Man, <laughs> I want to hold moving. this chocolate a little longer. You I know what's always good with chocolate? Some milk. I, I have a lot of moving parts here. You're slowing okay, down where do you guys go here. to bid? Feathersleepigeonauctions.com. <laughs> I have put the link, the direct link to the auction in the comments if you guys are curious. Head on over there. Again, price point. I'll give you another example. Lot number four right now is at 375 Canadian dollars. We have a loft manager rating on lot number four of 100 out of 100. An absolute stunner. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And, and you know what? Hell, if you didn't want to race, if you didn't want to race them, you can show them. He's gonna win any class he goes in. I guarantee you, if you like a show, kind of like one of those show guys, you like to look good, this is the one for you. But you know what? You're right. going to be able to race the children off of this. And look at the purple. Look, look at He's almost got like a purple to him. You see it, Leah? I do see it. Yeah, absolutely stunning colors. I mean, I certainly don't know if I'd, I'd tell Sonia that you kind of just bought it to show it because she might be upset about that. But <laughs> these are definitely here to breed. And, uh, and uh, we are definitely, these birds are definitely to breed, uh, to add that oomph, a little bit of color and that oomph to your breeding program for racing. But hey, you know what? You guys can do whatever you want. Mike Vandriak says, when you post the link, we can bid and watch at the same time. Giddy up, Mike. I put the link in. Let's see some bidding. Let's see some reds while we're doing the show. I like to see red. Thank you very uh, much. Hey, Jim, Jimmy Peters. Uh, posted hey, the link. hey, you know what? Thanks, guys, for helping me out here today. There, there we go. There we. That's that's a family. The family effect. Hey, you know what? I'm getting low on my beverage. If someone's in the area, stop by. No, but you know what, guys? That's what we like. We love the interaction. And you know what I love? I love this right here. This is winning in a different way. This is somebody that loves colored pigeons and's gotten the results with them. And you know what? She can win in shows. Leah. In all the typing and the writing in the last two years for Sonia, mm -hmm. have you ever seen her write and say, I want to show, I want to show, I want to show? No. Hey, she wins no show. the races. <laughs> I, I haven't seen any shows winning in her pedigrees, only race winning. 
We're going to move on to lot number five. That, of course, is lot number four. I switched the lot card before Ryan was ready. Sorry about that. We're going to move on to lot number five, another one of my favorites. Red Pied Cock, while Ryan oh, grabs the big them. Man. There's some tricky names in this one, guys. So Are I'm you ready, Leah, for the big yeah. red? I'm apologizing if I uh. butcher the names. Go ahead, Ryan. Here we go. Belgium 2000. Oh, Mr. Chocolate. That's why you always latch your crate. Watch it. You got to move quick. Chocolate does melt. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Belgium 2024 220 three nine zero red pie the big man cock uh rodrigo is already doing the wow faces on lot five absolutely folks uh, this is an original sonia vandermalen son of top racing hen red shatarupi winner of first provincial chateau versus four thousand five hundred eighty eight pigeons also son of top racer wit oh wit hot ticket Maybe that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But this is Witzlag Hagarello. Let's talk about lot number five. All right. Out of all the birds in the sale, this guy is the biggest. He's kind of the most unbalanced in your hand. But he's strong. The vents are tucked up. He's a big man. I mean, there's a lot of pigeon here. He's got that gorgeous feathering on him. Gorgeous color on him. Big wing, mega wing, wing that goes for four miles. I mean, his back is one pin tail. It wants to move just a little bit, fish around. He gets a bit nervous in front of the camera. Forearm is tight, but you see the red and white feathering on him. Beautiful, nice, strong vents. They're tucked up. But he's not your, you know, he's not your uh, guest model kind of pigeon. He just, he's a bit big. But I will say, if you want Sonia's second favorite pick, it's the big man here from Lithuania, this lot number five. Oh, see, Rune, I was going to say that. Yes, you are correct, Ryan. Lot number five is another one of Sonia's picks. And actually, now that I mention it, when I was talking to her about what uh, her picks were, she had commented that you had said that lot number five was big, and she doesn't remember it being big. And so she was asking, is it really that big? So I'm asking you, is it really that big? <laughs> he, he's your, you know, he, he is, a, he's a big man. I mean, he, take a look at the shoulders on him. He's wide. He, he's, but, you know, he's still okay for his size. I mean, one finger killed at the vent. The vents are like steel. He does that little bit of angel winging. And he's got so much, like, uh, you see this, Leah? He kind of loses that balance. Like the last one is super balanced in your hand. And just, you know, this guy here, a lot more fight to him. But Look uh, at him. Look if at this him. is Sonia's pick, I'll take it as well. No problem. Can I get you to just come a little closer Oof, with the wing? Big man. He's a... can, I get, can I get you to come a little closer with the wing, right? Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't know if the wing's cut off here in my photo. Is it no. there good? No. Yeah, you're good there. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Um, so there also, you go. But you see that fight in him? Want to make mention that um, the sire, Wit Hotterik, uh, I can't say that, Witty H, let's just put it that way, um, was a super racer as well as the mother was a super racing hen. So you've got two super racers combined. And what do you get? Lot number five. And this is what I call Leah when we get down to the real war paint. This is the this is the color here when you show up at the club. <laughs> and I've done it before because I've had staff and read pigeons. You show up at the club. And there's always that guy, you know, guy who likes to like rub it a bit. Rub it. He looks at you and says, uh, would you bring rollers tonight? Referring to the pigeons with the colored war paint, eh? And that's when you you don't say nothing. You just smile and go, yeah, I, I guess so. Boy, your blues are beautiful. And then you unload 20 in front of him. And you just kind of smile very dumbly and go, hey, who knew rollers could fly, right? <laughs> These are those type of pigeons here. What a super. Hey, hey Leah, it happened to me. Happened to me. Could happen I, to you. I wonder how much ribbing Sonia has taken over the years. Or I wonder if they do that in Europe or if they're kinder. I don't know. I'll have to ask her next time I talk to her. 
Robbie Taylor says lot five is my favorite. One of mine as well, and one of Sonia's. We're going to move on to lot number six. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Remind everybody that this auction closes tomorrow, which is Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys still have, oh, about 24 hours to head on over to our website and take a look at the write-ups, take a look at the pedigrees, the photos, the videos, and make your informed bids. We're going to move on to lot number six, Ryan. Read the band number, please. Belgium 2020, 419-8809, Blue Grizzle Hen. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> this is an original Sonia Vandermeulen, a direct child of Super Racer Beauty Boy, Olympiad Pigeon Standard Sport Paused and Poland 2019. One in two years, 28 prizes up to Argentan, 12 times top 10 prizes. Granddaughter to top hen, oh, this is another hard one, Good Olympi. Winner of two times first prizes and also granddaughter to Dream Boy, three times first prize winner and first ace pigeon sprint. This is Grizzle Astroki 809. Yes, yes, yes. Colored pigeon, blue grizzle hen, fantastic. Great muscle, soft, but yet spongy. The muscles are perfect. The face, the balance, the control, the look. The thickness in the bars, yes, yes, yes. The forearm, strong and tight. Snap into that wing, the feather qualities, yes. Oh boy, Leah, I need a birthday gift. I told you about those blue grizzles. This is another one. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. I mean, it's an absolute perfect looking specimen of a racing pigeon. Results to back it up. Nice eye, beautiful wing, good fight to her. Gorgeous. Another one that Gordy and Paul today said, boy, how do you pick between these blue grizzle hens? They're all peas in a pod. They're identical. Each one has their own characters, even in the eye sign. You know, guys, let's just take your pick. You're going to be very happy. Jimmy Peters, if you like blue grizzles, any one of these hens is right down. Uh, I think you'll be very, very, very happy with. Anyone in that matter will be super happy. I would love to own these. Take it away, Leah. Again, want to make mention that the pedigree on this lot number six is absolutely loaded from top to bottom, both on the sire and the dam side. Don't take it from me. Head on over to our website. Look at the pedigree. Look at the write-ups. Do your own research and make your informed bids. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. We're going to move on to lot number seven. Let's see if she'll do it. Oh, people say, oh, this isn't how you hang on to a pigeon. No, you're right. She's balanced, and they'll come. They come with knives and daggers. You don't know what you're doing. I was doing that with my imp impersonation of Ronaldo, balancing that ball on his head. Boy, didn't he do it so well? He sure did. But look at this. Gorgeous. Leah, I need a blue grizzle hand. I'm just saying. I'll keep it in mind. Oops. Sorry about that, Ryan. I just cut you off with the lot photo. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. There we go. Well, I've seen it's you Monday. do worse things before. Monday, folks. This is, I think, one of Dave Crozier's favorites. Whoa. Lot number seven. <laughs> oh, Gargamel, oh, Gargamel. Here we go. Lot number seven from Belgium, 2024, 2 Oh, another 10-plus blue grizzle hen. This is an original Sonia Vandermeulen, a direct child of Miss Pithivers, winner of 16 prizes in two years, up to 542 kilometers. Ten of those prizes were in the first top 10%. Also a great grandchild of Foundation Breeders, Grizz 400 and Hagger Admiral. This is Grizzle Smurfett. Let's talk about Dave Crozier's favorite, lot number seven. Well... She's perfect, 100 out of 100. She's buoyant, she's muscular, back is strong, she fits in your hand, she pops out of her shirt. Forearm is nice and tight, feather quality, softness is perfect on this hen. Nice wing, look at the three flights pretty much lining up like, like cherries on a tree, pretty damn close. 
But overall, right in the hands. So balanced, so strong, so much muscle. And she's got a beautiful, keen, sharp look to her. Very, very alert hen. I like her a lot. The events are nice. They're strong. They're tight. Maybe, maybe just to crack and open. Maybe if you had to give it a small little nick, but it's a, it's a pretty much a damn perfect racing pigeon in my uh, in my mind. And of course, in the pedigree on your lot number seven, you see that we have the Grizz 400 um, in this pedigree. Who is Grizz 400? In case you guys don't know, winner of the eighth national Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB and won six times first Ace Pigeon Long Distance 2005. Uh, we also have uh, Hager Admiral in this pedigree, who is a winner of First Provincial Le Mans, First Provincial Chateau, Third Provincial Chateau. Who else do we have in here? We have Lizolette. I mean, the pedigree is loaded. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. Hey, you know, you know, Leah, you, you talk about Grizz 400, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, you know, Old Bird, long distance. To get to old birds first, you got to go through young birds and you got to go through yearlings. So that's about two to three years of racing. That means you got to beat a lot of hawks, a lot of falcons, a lot of shit. Grizzles that do it, colored pigeons that do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not find a nicer bird in a sale. This pigeon is chiseled out of absolute granite. It's a 12 plus super pigeon. That score 100 out of 100, Leah. It doesn't do this pigeon justice in your hands. There you go. Yes. Uh, lot band rating 100 out of 100. Current bid on lot number seven is 475 Canadian dollars. So once again, you're looking at 275 Canadian dollars when you take off the importing and quarantine fees. We are going to move on to lot number eight. Where do you guys go to bid? In case you don't know, that is leadpigeonauctions.com. I have put the link to the auction in the comments so has jimmy peters mike if you're looking for it it's there twice we're going to move on to lot number eight <laughs> and read the band number on lot eight please hey leah you know mm -hmm. what we got to give a round of applause people you know people are helping us out a bit we need the help like today this. all right yeah, Ryan's not number feeling well eight. and well it's a monday. it's a monday go ahead lot number eight read the band number Belgium 2024 220361 Silver Hen. Take it away, Leah. An original Sonia van der Malen, a direct child of Dark Gorecki. Winner of first Gorette, flying a distance of 542 kilometers versus 479 pigeons. Eighth national zone versus 2,775 pigeons. A full sister to the 049. A proven breeding hen by Arno Vanderberg Ofasi. This is Silver Bollocken 361. Let's talk about lot eight. Back is strong, muscular, buoyant. Feels like she's got great muscle. Forearm is so tight. Feather quality, spot right on. She's soft, she's silky. Vents are just a crack and open, just a crack. Nice wing. Strong back. She's got fight to her. Her sears are almost a little red. Little got red sears on her just a little bit. She's a real wild looking color. A real look at the face on her. She comes right to life. A little bit of a flat head on her. Gorgeous color. Good body. Strong. I'll tell you, when you see this pigeon, and this is what I, I kind of say, when you see this pigeon. You don't expect it to have this kind of body. You really, really don't. But they do. And this is what Sonia can do. She's got those magical little pigeon fingers, kind of like the Smurfs. Bang. She knows how to breed to a certain type. And that's what you have here again. Loft manager rating on your lot number eight is 96 out of 100. Current bid, 400 Canadian dollars on this beautiful lot number eight you know and i will say she scored a bit low on that score uh we did a little adjustment here on the feeding and uh, she came down a little she lost a little bit of her weight her vents i said are a little bit open but other than that she's pretty much damn perfect in your hands 
Very hard pigeon to fault. Uh, gorgeous pigeon. Gorgeous color with results. Superb. Uh, Jimmy, P Jimmy Peters says, my weakness is the grizzles. These are the best I have ever seen. Awesome auction. Thank you very much, Jimmy Peters. Although, don't thank us. Thanks, Sonia Vandermeulen. Um, it has nothing to do with us. She just absolutely knows how to breed them, um, clearly. Yeah, she, she breeds them right. She breeds them tight. Uh, and you know what? She has the results. Look at this, big man. Here's another one. We're going to move on, Leah. Nine is my favorite number. This is my cock of the sale. This is my pick. Okay? I just, I, this one... Man, I would. This is a three thousand dollar pigeon all day. Belgium two thousand and twenty. Four one nine eight eight three two. White grizzle cock. Take it away, Leah. This is an original Sonia Vandermalen, brother to Whitbin Barbella, winner of second tour V, flying a distance of three hundred twenty nine kilometers. Second tour E, second Quinpa. Sorry, third Noyal. Uh, sixth Noya, 93rd Provincial Chateau versus 4,708 pigeons. This is White Avarillo, 832. Let's talk about lot number nine. Well, he's a big man. I mean, he's he's he blows out basket ready, but he's good and wide. I mean, take a look at my hand, take a look at the size of him across the across that barrel. But good muscle, nice and strong forearm. Beautiful breeding eye. This guy should breed lights out. If you're an eye sign guru, and I know uh, Mike Vanderyak's on, take a look at this eye. I think this guy is going to breed the goods. As me and Gordy were going over it today, this is the man with the golden eye. He's got that nice round show head to him. But boy, look at the look at him. It's not. I'm not saying it's a show head. It's a nice round. He looks smart. He's tight. The vents are right. He's one pin tail. The back is strong. He looks gorgeous. He feels gorgeous. And he's one of these pigeons that feels like he's got millions and millions of feathers. Loads and loads of feathers. Great muscle. But he's a big man. But a gorgeous big man. Leah, he's kind of like your, your, your Jay Cutler or your Hulk Hogan. He's got that, you know, that, that broad V back. Just perfect. Hey, it's unfortunate that Jimmy Peters does not live close to where our showroom is because, oh man, I would love to be able to give him the opportunity to handle these 12 lots because I know you see the videos and you hear Ryan talk about them, but handling is believing. I know everybody who was at the open house on Saturday was absolutely blown away by the composition and quality of these 12 lots. So hopefully, Jimmy, you win one of them, now, and then now, you're going to be I'm... able to handle for yourself and see what we're talking about. Go ahead, Ryan. You know, and, and these weren't the grizzles that day I was there. They weren't these colored grizzles. They had more chocolate on them. They were just, they kind of looked, they weren't the nicest marked grizzles. And I never thought when I put them into my hands, they would feel this way. And this guy is the same way. Super strong, super muscle. Super breeding eye. This is everything you want to breed into your birds. You want to add the muscle, add the balance, add the buoyancy, and add the winds. And you know what else you're adding? You're adding a little bit of war paint, a little bit of color. Lot number nine, my pick. Take it or leave it. He'll be a good one. Where do you guys go to bed? Feathersleeppigeonauctions.com. We are going to move on to the last three lots in the Sonia Vandermelen online auction. Our last breeder, by the way of the season from Belgium. Moving on to lot number 10. Read the band number on lot number 10, please, Ryan. Lot number 10, Belgium, 2020. 419 -8845. Blue Grizzle, Cock. An original Sonia Vandermelen, a half-brother to Donna Kerjan, winner of First Tory, 14th Belgium Olympiad Pigeon all around 2019. And also half-brother to Beauty Jan and Beauty Blanchetta, Olympiad Pigeon, son of Olympiad winner, New Grizz Beauty. This is Grizzle Jan 845. Let's talk about this handsome fellow, Ryan. All right. Back super strong. Turns maybe a little left. Vents are strong. Forearm is tight. Deeper pigeon. 
You feel a little bit more of that heel bone, but he's got still that good muscle. Forearm, oh, so tight on this guy. And when I talk about when I put my arm under, I feel how it clamps down. You don't even want, you can't even lift the wing up on this guy. Feathers are soft, silky. You got the nice snap to the wing. Big wing. One of my favorites here in this sale. He's got a lot of fight to him. Still one pin to go. But you look at these last three flights on this guy. Check it out. Oh, my God. They're lining right up perfectly. Super pigeon. Super cock. I like him a lot. And he's very, very buoyant for his size. Very nice. But, again, you see those three flights lining up. Wow. Look at the face. Look at the character. Composition. Perfect. Your lot number 10. So I want to remind everybody, in this pedigree, we have the Donna Kujan, we have the Dejan uh, Bloodlines. Who else do we have here? We have, of course, New Grizz Beauty, who was the Olympiad Pigeon Standard Sport Posdan Poland 2019 for Sonia Vandermalen. Who else do we have? We have Grizzle King, who was the official winner um, KBDB an for the 100-year KBDB anniversary race. Uh, first, a national shot to row versus 39,071 pigeons flying a distance of 476 kilometers, yearling and old birds, as well as first national shot to row versus 18,251 pigeons flying a distance again of 476 kilometers, 2010. So pedigree is loaded. Who else do we have here in the pedigree? Oh, we have Kim from Ivan Vandenbosch. So again, we see we've got the Vandenbosch bloodlines in the Vandermelon. Do we know what we're doing or kind of sometimes we do? We sometimes do. Not all the time. And with <laughs> this one, we really know what we're doing because you want to know why? These are performance, performance color racing pigeons right here. Lot number 10. You're not going to go wrong. A lot of fight. He's kind of got that same looking eye and face as that silver hen, but absolutely beautiful. Lot number 10. We're going to move on to lot number 11. While Ryan reads the band number, reminding everybody where I'm you still go here, Leah, Feathers, don't worry. FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. We're making sure Ryan hasn't fallen over yet, which he hasn't. Good job. Oh, another one of my favorites, lot number 11. Oh, here we go. Lot number 11 from, you guessed it, Belgium, 2020. 4220394 White Grizzle Cock. An original Sonia Vandermalen, a full brother to Grizzle Jasmina, winner of 10th Provincial Shot to Row, flying a distance of 476 kilometers versus 4,888 pigeons. Sixth Maloon, flying a distance of 260 kilometers versus 839 pigeons. 548th National Verizon, distance of 426 kilometers versus 11,574 pigeons. This is White Noah. Let's talk about lot number 11, Ray. All right. Again, we got the little kittens in here today, so, so the crowds, the birds are a little jazzed up. But you look at the size of the barrel on this pigeon. Large, large barrel. It's good muscle. Forearm is nice and tight. Nice, thick arm. The arm's nice. The wing got a good snap to it. Nice wing. Good, strong pigeon. The back is strong on one pin tail. You feel the vibration in the pigeon. The eye is sharp. Again, a little bit bigger pigeon. And if he's not totally calm in your hands, he might feel a little bit off balance. But still, very, very nice. Sharp eye. But he's a big man. Look, I mean, again, take a look at the shoulders across the back. You see it. Wide, wide pigeon. Large pigeon, big man. Loft manager rating on your lot number 11 is 100 out of 100. Shall I take a look at the pedigree? I'm sure you guys have already taken a look at the pedigree. But um, again, we have super breeders, super racers combined throughout the pedigree. Sorry, I was just looking at the pedigree. Oh, anyway. Don't take my word for it. Head on over to our website. Take a look at the write-ups. Do your own reading. We could be here all night reading the results, so we're not going to do that. This is just a brief overview of the lots. That is, of course, your lot number 11. Look at them. All right, Leah, we're going to move on to the final lot. My girl. We're going to move on to lot number 12. Here we go. Sorry, I have to fix the lot card. Sorry, guys. 
not very prepared today. All right, here we go. Lot number twelve. Right. Lot number twelve. Read the banner, Lot please. number twelve from Belgium. Belgium, two thousand and twenty four one nine eight seven seven eight. White Grizzle Hen. This is an original Sonia van der Malen, daughter of all Barcelona, from the best of the Barcelona champion winning bloodlines of Noel Perrin and Luke Herbots, and also daughter of White Marinella from Foundation Breeders Mario and, of course, Grizz 400. This is White Marina. Let's talk about lot number 12. Oh, yeah. This hen is perfect in the hand. She's one pintail back, maybe comes up just a, a little bit. Vents are strong. Forearm, awesomely tight. Feather quality, the snap, the softness, loads and loads of feathers. Boy, she really has those loads of feathers. Nice wing, very small, compact hen. Very small, very compact, loads and loads of muscle, good vibration. Beautiful, strong muscles, sharp looking face, gorgeous rich eye. This is a super pigeon. If you're going to one loft battling, and you want to be that person that says, oh, on the first drop, there was a grizzle. This is the one. If this one, put it to nine or put it to that blue grizzle cock. Maybe put it to the red pied cock. Maybe put it to the red. I don't care what you want to do. This one's got it all. Lot number 12. Again, from the uh, Barcelona champion winning bloodline. You know, these birds can go the distance. It's in their genes, in their DNA, in their blood. Loft manager rating on your lot Beautiful. number just a 12 super. is 99 out of 100. I'm current bid, just so you guys have an idea again, 650 Canadian dollars on lot number 12. Of course, who are we talking about? The golden lady of Belgium, Sonia van der Malen. You're going to see that handsome fellow standing beside her. That is not her assistant. That is her husband, Danny. However, if you ever meet the van der Malens, which I was lucky enough to do when I went with Ryan to Houghton to the Holland show. Danny will be the first one to tell you it's not me. It's all about Sonia. She is the star of the show. She, this is her, these are her birds. I'm just here to help, um, which I think is great. They work as a team, but he allows, he gives Sonia, not allows, he gives Sonia the credit that Sonia is due. And <laughs> these are her pigeons. Correct, Ryan? Hey, we were there. We were talking to Danny. Sonia had to go grab something. We wanted to catch, get a picture. Nope, we can't take a picture until Sonia's here. They're her birds. This is this is hers. This is all hers. He is the assistant. He helps out, and I'll tell you, he's a great assistant. And you know what? He doesn't take the thunder or the accolades. His wife gets it all. Uh, they work great together. Quality is great. She really upped her game. Uh, and you want colored racing pigeons that are going to win. These are them. Uh, if you were completely colorblind or you couldn't see at all, you would not have a clue these are colored racing pigeons. They're that nice. They're that strong. They're that. They have it all. And the results are fantastic. Uh, and it's really a, a breath of fresh air here towards the end of this season. I've seen a lot of blues and a lot of great checkers. But you know what? It's so nice to see that there are people out there that are going they like the colored root, and they're getting the results because I'm going to tell you something. All these pigeons, when they go up together, they don't know what color they are. They just go no. out and go to work. And the good ones, pigeons well, don't know colors. But you're as far as I know, every time I interview a pigeon, he never tells me I'm a blue bar. Yeah, exactly. You know? They don't know it. The other pigeons don't know it. It's just seems to be the narrow-mindedness of some of the fanciers in the world who poo-poo the color. And I'm sorry, but I don't agree with it at all. But hey, Sonia is great. Danny is great. I asked Sonia if she had any um, words that she would like to give to potential buyers of her pigeons because she wasn't able to do the show. She really just wants to get her pigeons out there into the North, into North America. She wants you guys to take her pigeons home. She wants you to introduce them into your breeding program. She wants you to get the results and she wants to hear about the fantastic results that you get with her pigeons. That's all she wants. 
That's all she wants. She wants, she wishes everybody good luck with the bidding and wishes all of the buyers of her birds good luck with your breeding. She is a, a top-notch lady. She is an inspiration to me as a, as a woman in, in this sport. She's fantastic, and I highly recommend if you ever get to Belgium, please uh, make it a point. Or if you go to the Fugari show or the Houghton show, I know she's usually at both of them. Please make sure you stop at her booth and uh, you check out her pigeons if you can get in. Because usually around her booth, from what I remember, it's like people, people, and more people. Her booth is always packed. Yeah, that's the, hey, that's the truth. We did it. We went there, and uh, the quality out of this world. Think about it. In this game, it's basically a man-driven sport. And here is not only a woman succeeding, <laughs> but she's doing it with pigeons of great color. Isn't that something? Double it the sure odds is. stacked against her. Comes to the top, inch by, inch by inch, brick by brick, and mile by mile. These birds will do the winning for you. Trust me. Just add a little bit of the Golden Lady into your breeding program. It's a safe bet. Where do you go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Remember, all bids are in Canadian dollars. That's right. Shipping to the United States is absolutely free. Oh, and there is just one more thing. This is the last. The last of the pigeons with great war paint for the season. Wrapping up season three, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Remember, this auction closes tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, Northern Pacific Time, New York Time. Sonia Vandermelen, thank you. It's been awesome again. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for the top quality pigeons. Leah, you've done a great job on the show. And yes, Leah, I do want some of these pigeons. Please, birthday is coming. Anybody watching the show, you want to buy me a pigeon, you know what to do. You know the ones I like. Guys, thanks for flying with us. Good luck bidding. Leah, daddy's got to go. Bye for now. Good night, guys.